Hi and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. Time for another quick review. So, um, not review, a haul. Let me get it right. So, I found the lipstick that I dropped if you saw my previous one. So, this is another one of the Kate Moss um, Rimmel London ones. This is a beautiful red um, colour. And this one is in, um, it's 111. So really like these. These are the matte finish ones. So I really like the matte one. I've got the um, 101, I think it is on now, or the 171. Can't remember which one is it. The 107, sorry, is the one I've got on now. Okay, also got, and I've taken it out of the packet, but the pack I had to show the packaging. The packaging is just beautiful. This Anastasia Catwalk palette. Um, it came with... It, the the packaging is beautiful on this palette. This is actually all velvety and they do a really lovely job. And these are the colours. So they've got these beautiful earthy tones with some plums. Um, just really, really love them. There's no names on them, but it's a mixture of shimmers and mattes. So if you'd like to see a tutorial using that palette, just let me know. It also comes with this backstage book which gives you an idea on how to do um, different looks which is always handy I think. Also um, loving my Tarte and Diesel's still in the box playing just in case you're wondering. So he's having a little ball in there. I also got another one of the Tarte um, palettes. Absolutely love these. I think they're fabulous for traveling. They just have everything that you need basically as far as eyeshadows go. Um, this one again comes with the champagne highlighter, the print Park Avenue Princess. The blush is carefree. I don't want too much glare but it comes with the sheet with the names of the colours. Um, so it's just got some really pretty earthy tones and then these pretty plums, uh, purpley colours which I love so really looking forward to doing that again if you would like some looks with that palette just let me know have been dying for this palette I saw it online and just fell in love with it and after using some of the Steeler products which I'm actually just new to um, I saw this and I looked at all of them um, I like them all but I have to say this one really stood out to me so I finally got the in the light palette um, with all these beautiful colours in it and it also comes with a um, eyeliner pencil which I thought was really a great buy. So just love these colours that are in this. can see this being a real staple. Um, sort of reminds me a little of some of the Naked palettes um, with the colours that it's got in it but that you know I haven't used it yet I've literally just taken it out of the box and again it comes with a little style book that shows you different looks um, and how to achieve them which I think is a great idea also bought everybody knows I'm a Laura Geller fan um, so I got some under um, I've got the sparkle in one that I use but this one's just an under makeup primer um, so I thought I'd try this out and I also got the makeup setting spray so I'm really interested to try this um, because I think you put it, I believe you put it on before you apply your foundation then apply afterwards so really interested to see how this stands up to the um, Scandinavia Skin Finish and the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray because I love both of those and also another catch up in the world of makeup because I have never ever tried these I finally jumped into the OCC lip tars. Um, haven't ever tried that but they had this kit online where you could get a, a nail polish and a lip tar and because I love my reds I thought that I would go for the red one so really interested to try this and see what it's like so again if you'd like a more in-depth review or a look on that please feel free to let me know so that's just a really quick haul and very soon the hauls will stop because I am on a no buy so I've got one more order to come and that's it and I'm on a no buy again because I honestly need no more makeup so um, yeah hope you've enjoyed if there's any of these that you would like to see a more in-depth review I haven't tried any of them yet so I can't pass comment I know I love the colors in them not sure about the payoff etc um, 
it would take a really long time to do swatches so if you want a more in-depth review on any of the palettes specifically please let me know I'll probably do a review and do a look with each of them anyway so if you would like that please leave a comment um, if you haven't subbed already please do so because I really love to see that I've got new subscribers and don't forget that my current giveaway if you haven't entered that because this month it's actually a really good one well they're all really good I'd like to win them but anyway so enough rambling I hope you're all keeping really really well and I will talk to you all again soon thanks for watching bye